Electrolytic electric capacitors are used in electrical engineering so often that few people have thought about how they work and how they are made. However, this knowledge may be necessary when repairing works that are held to avoid various problems associated with characteristic features of the condenser structure. Thus, we move on to the aluminium electrolytic capacitor. Its plates, cathode and anode, are made of aluminium tape and have special electrolytic paper treated with electrolyte between them. The construction is mounted in a plastic case. It is worth mentioning that while the plate has a very thin layer of aluminium oxide, which is an insulator, and appears as a result of the electrolytic oxidation process. Why is there an electrolyte in an electrolytic capacitor? Wouldn't it be easier to oxidize the plates and put the paper between them, rolling it up into a tube then? It is not so easy. The capacitor made this way would have a small capacitance, because the plates appear to be placed rather far. Therefore, paper is treated with a special liquid electrolyte. One of the aluminium plates becomes a secondary cathode, and the cathode itself is obtained from the paper treated with electrolyte. Thus, the oxide layer becomes an insulator and high capacitance of the condenser is attained. The oxide layer has one way conducting property in a certain direction of imposition of electric potential as well as thinness, which allows us to produce condensers of larger capacitance and small size. Because of this feature, the vast majority of manufactured electrolytic capacitors are polar elements, and you need to consider the appropriate polarity when plugging them into a circuit. Polarity is indicated on a case with a plus and minus signs. You can also determine the polarity of the electrolyte by the looks of the leads. Usually, the positive contact lead of the condenser is much longer. It is worth mentioning that if both aluminium strips of a capacitor has oxide layer on its surface, the capacitor becomes non-polar. These capacitors are also produced, but they are much less common.